Hi, I'm Diane Cometa, and today on Dishing with Di, I'm going to show you how to make pan-seared salmon with a lemon butter sauce. Really simple to make, perfect for a weeknight or even a special occasion. So let's get started on Dishing with Di. I have a salmon filet at room temperature that I'm seasoning with some salt and a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. And I rinsed this off with some cold water and then I patted it dry first. So the first thing we're gonna do is dredge it lightly in some flour. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of flour on my plate here. And then I'm just gonna take the salmon and just kinda press it into there and then on the other side. You just wanna make sure it's coated Okay, that looks good. Now I have a heavy cast iron skillet preheating on the stove over medium high heat and I have some vegetable oil. I'm not gonna be using olive oil for this. So you want something that has like a, a pretty decent smoke point. So vegetable oil, grapeseed oil, something like that. And then I have a sauce, the lemon butter sauce that I'll make when we're all done searing the salmon. So let's get over to the stove and throw this baby in. I added some oil to my preheated pan and I'm putting the salmon in with the flesh side down. I like to cook this skin last because I want it to get extra crispy. I'm just gonna let this cook for about three to four minutes or until the flesh starts to cook about a quarter of the way up and then we're gonna turn it over. And at that point, it should be nice and golden brown. My fish is cooked about a quarter of the way up and now I'm turning it over and you can see that it's a little bit charred from the cast iron skillet, that's normal. So now we're gonna continue to cook this for about another three minutes or so until it's nice and golden on the bottom and then I'm gonna make the sauce. Okay, I'm inserting my instant read thermometer and it is 140 degrees. So I'm gonna take this out of the pan and I'm gonna put it on the plate to rest while I make the sauce. Now, I just took a paper towel and I wiped out the excess oil from the pan and I'm adding in some white wine along with the fresh lemon juice. And I'm also gonna put into the pan my shallot that's been minced along with the minced fresh garlic and this little bit of dried parsley. Now, if you're using fresh parsley, you would wait until the end to add that in. Now, I'm just gonna cook this for a few minutes until it reduces by about half. I'm just putting in some cold, unsalted butter. Don't have your heat too high at this point either. You want it about medium to medium low, right in between there. Okay, as soon as that melts, add a little more, and you wanna make sure the butter's cold because you don't want this to separate and then it'll just turn really greasy. So when it's cold like this, the way it melts into the um, mixture really makes it nice and smooth and silky. Now I'm gonna season it to taste with some salt and pepper and pour it right over my fish. This looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? Let's get a taste of this. Mmm. Mmm. You gotta try this. The recipe is on my website, dishingwithdye.com, with lots of other stuff. And I hope I made your life a little easier, more enjoyable, and delicious. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.